If you don't know these 10 vulnerabilities, hackers already have the advantage. So let's break down 10 of the most dangerous security vulnerabilities you need to know about. SQL injection. Imagine you're at a restaurant. You ask the waiter for fries, but instead of just giving you fries, the waiter brings you the entire restaurant's bank statements. That's SQL injection in a nutshell. Websites use databases to store information, like usernames, passwords, or credit card numbers. Normally, a website only asks for the information it needs. But if a developer writes sloppy code, a hacker can sneak in extra instructions that the database follows. So, instead of get my profile, the hacker might say, get everyone's profile. Or worse, delete the entire database. This one is so old it feels like it should be extinct, but nope, big companies still get caught with it today. If you've ever wondered how hackers steal millions of records at once, this is often the culprit. Cross-site scripting. Here's how it works. A hacker injects malicious code into a web page. When you visit the page, your browser runs the hacker's code without question. That code could steal your login cookies, redirect you to a fake login page, or even hijack your session. To the casual user, everything looks fine. You're just scrolling, clicking, shopping, but behind the scenes, your data is being siphoned off. Broken authentication. Authentication is just a fancy word for proving you are who you say you are. But when websites get this wrong, it's basically an open invitation to hackers. Think about it. Weak passwords, no session timeouts, or systems that don't double check who you are after login, hackers love this. They can steal sessions, brute force passwords, or even bypass login entirely. It's like a nightclub with a lazy bouncer who lets everyone in without checking IDs. Suddenly, people who don't belong there are sipping champagne in the VIP lounge. And once an attacker gets in as you, they can do everything you can. Change your password, empty your account, or read your messages. Insecure direct object references. IDOR sounds like techno jargon, but it's actually really simple and really dangerous. Imagine you get a link to download your bank statement. The link ends in statement 1, 2, 3. You think, cool, that's mine. But what if you change that number to 1, 2, 4, and suddenly you're looking at someone else's bank statement? That's IDOR. It happens when developers don't properly check permissions, and it allows attackers to just change a value in a URL or form to access things they shouldn't. It's like your house key working not just on your door, but your neighbors too. Cross-site request forgery. This one sounds confusing, but it's basically tricking you into doing something you didn't mean to do. Imagine you're logged into your bank on one tab, and on another tab, you click a random link that says, check out this funny cat video. Behind the scenes, that link actually sends a request to your bank, something like transfer $1,000 to hacker's account. And because you're already logged in, your bank thinks you requested it. It's like forging your signature while you're holding the pen. You didn't mean to, but technically it's valid. Remote code execution. This is every hacker's dream and every developer's nightmare. RCE means an attacker can run their own code on your system as if they were sitting at your keyboard. That could mean stealing files, installing malware, or taking complete control. It's like giving a stranger a spare key to your house, only to find out they've started rearranging your furniture, changing your locks, and inviting their friends over. And when combined with privilege escalation, it's game over. Privilege escalation. Sometimes hackers don't start with admin access. They start as a normal user, like a guest account. But with privilege escalation, they find a flaw that lets them level up until they're effectively the system administrator. It's like sneaking into a movie theater with a basic ticket and somehow ending up in the projection booth where you control the whole show. This often happens because of misconfigurations or software bugs that weren't patched properly. Once attackers have admin level access, they can disable security, steal everything, and cover their tracks. Misconfigured security. You'd think companies with huge IT budgets would get this right, but misconfiguration is shockingly common. Leaving default passwords like admin and 1234, forgetting to lock down cloud storage, using weak server settings. These are all open doors waiting for attackers. It's like buying a high-tech safe and then leaving it wide open with the keys taped to the door. Outdated software, unpatched vulnerabilities. 
You know those annoying pop-ups on your phone or laptop saying, update now? Yeah, those matter. Every time you skip one, you're leaving your system exposed. Hackers actively scan for systems running old software because they already know the weaknesses. It's like keeping a broken lock on your door while every thief in town has a copy of the instructions on how to open it. And finally, the boogeyman of cybersecurity, the zero day. A zero day vulnerability is one that developers don't know about yet. That means there's no patch, no fix, no defense until it's discovered. Hackers who find zero days can sell them for massive amounts of money on the black market. Governments sometimes hoard them for cyber warfare. And regular users, we're just sitting ducks until a patch arrives. It's like a thief finding a hidden entrance to your house that even you didn't know existed. By the time you realize it, it might already be too late. So there you have it, 10 of the most dangerous vulnerabilities out there. Some of them are old classics, some are new nightmares, but they all remind us of one thing, security isn't optional. The scary part is that most of these flaws are preventable with good coding, regular updates, and smarter practices. Which one surprised you the most?